Happy New Year! Uh, assuming you're watching on the upload date. If not, hey, welcome back. It's another episode of Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu with your favourite boy, Thick Boy, mm, Matt, and that's me. Hey, <laughs> it's Matt Plays Games and I'm playing games. How are you guys doing? Welcome back. Part. Oh, I still don't know. I didn't look. I'm sorry. Part like 17. No, part 16. Taking a, a stride in my being of wrong. So, hey. 16, 17. Pfft. I don't care. I haven't done anything in these two episodes. Wow, wow. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Part of Machoke is super strong. He has enough strength to even shove big rocks out of the way, as if they were nothing. Well, yeah, I'd hope so. With those muscles, chicks. Hey, this is my best friend, Evie. He rides on my head. Wow, does he do anything else? No. There actually is. I think there's a little funny thing. I, I say funny, like low XD memes. What is this? Oh, I didn't read that. Whoops. Sorry, I'm trying to multitask while doing this. This is pretty fucking dumb. I should focus on this. So if you can... Apparently... You can mess up their hair. Like, I'm rubbing his hair and it's getting more, more and more spiky. So apparently, I think it's getting more spiky. Looks it, doesn't it? Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, I don't know. Is it? Fuck it. You know, <laughs> who cares? It's an evening that we're not using. I don't care. Do you? No. No, I'm sorry for answering for you. Do you? Wow. I didn't guess that. Oh. I like feisty kids like you. Oh, that's a thumbnail right there. 205. Feisty kids like you. Uh, sir, can you... Sir, you don't need to take off your trousers. Magnemite? What are you going to do? Paralyze me? No, uh... oh, no. That's, that's pretty... That's pretty dark. I probably shouldn't say that. Ivasaur. What does Eevee want? Bin boy support. Okay. Okay. Whoa, everything grows. Wait, that takes my turn. Bin boy, you dick. No, that's fine. That's my fault for trying it out. Uh, so that's a steel type. Steel electric. Immune to poison. Immune to sleep. None of these moves do any damage. So I'm going to have to swap out to the big child Charmeleon. He's only got Ember. Oh, why do you not learn any good fire moves until, like, level 60? That's probably, like, really not correct. But, you know, I want to learn Flame Wheel. I think, like, every Pokemon in any of the other games learn Flame Wheel at, like, level 18, possibly. If, it, if this guy learned Flame Wheel at 18, um, oh, oh, you know. Do a video where I eat cereal, looking at the camera for 10 minutes. Wait, who the fuck? Who takes 10 minutes to eat their cereal? Let's be honest, they're the real cereal killers. You're welcome for the pun. Oh, I'm ashamed of myself, realistically. I, I don't feel good about that one. The real cereal killers, wow. There's actually a bad thing going on right now. Not not about anything, about <laughs> my bedroom. I've kind of let this spider chill out on my ceiling for the past, like, week and a half. And every time I look up, I see one more spider than I did the night before. So I think I'm going to have to go on an extermination mission after this, because I can't have more than more than two spiders in my bedroom at any given time. Though, there's probably be like, oh, actually, there's about 30 spiders in your, mo in your bedroom. Mirror move? How is that a fly? Where's mirror move? You can't obviously see it. Um, let's get rid of Leer. No, 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 that's not. Let's get rid of focus energy, because no one, no one uses that realistically. So, yeah, I think I need to get the old, get the old hairspray, not hairspray, body spray and a match. Or a lighter, and just make a impromptu flamethrower, and just roast them. You know, 
bit inhumane to talk like that about animals, but mm, they're spiders, and they're in my bedroom. It kind of, I'm not a big fan of spiders, as many of you might know. And by many, I probably mean like one person, if that. And, I mean, it's a big step for me to let one into my room. He's kind of... Or she. I don't know what gender it is. I guess it, it's a, might be a she because it gave birth. But... Does that matter for spiders? Mm, I'm not going to Google that because I think that would be a bit weird. Sailor Huey is wanting to battle. Side up. Mm. Yeah, they just put cobwebs everywhere. He's like, come on, guys. Come on, guys. I let you I let you live here rent-free. <laughs> and this is how you repay me? You just spray cobwebs everywhere? It's not even everywhere. They're just in, like, one corner of the room. And, like, that's enough. Like, bud. You don't need to do that. There's... Uh, do they need to do that? No, they don't need to do that. Like, you didn't have to be... You didn't have to be that guy. That... That spider. Like, come on. There's another one over there. Alright, I'm gonna need to... You need to get executing. Execute. No, 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 that's not even a pun. Is that another one up there? No, that's just a hole. Not a hole in the ceiling, but you know, paint thinning out. Yeah, this is this is a problem right now. But I mean, hey, if you're a spider enthusiast, I apologise. I will kill them in the quickest way possible. They won't feel pain. It, it is I who will feel the pain of murdering my roommate. Don't, don't take that out of context and send that to the police. I don't have a roommate. Not anymore. No, uh, at all. Um, yeah. Hey, it's Fisher Dude. Hey, bud. Give me a rod. Hello, stranger. I can't tell if you're from the seas or the mountains. But stop and chat. That's all my programmer from the sea. Can't tell if you're from the mountains or the sea. Boy, why would I be any of them? Fisherman Barney. Ooh, that's a bit of a name. That's a name. I was about to do Barney the Dinosaur impression, but I just realised that I haven't seen that show in about 15 years. Possibly more. So I don't know what Barney sounds like. And that's kind of depressing. It's not depressing. It's just a bit weird. Don't you think? Like, you always know what your, your childhood... <laughs> your childhood heroes sound like so it's a bit weird but then again Barney was always a weird show especially when they introduced like those two ki kid dinos well this turned into some weird scaly oh, weird furry scaly thing not really but it just kind of makes it sound like it doesn't it oh, I can't believe there's actually people in this world who, uh, who who like scalies like come on like oh i don't know i was about to say being a furry isn't bad like like i was about to say that it's not bad none of it's bad it just it's just different a lot of people can't handle that it's just a bit it's just a bit you know like you know you can you, you might want to smash an anthropomorphic dog you know you know, there's fur and a, and a, a female body, but I mean, you know, I mean that's cool and all. You do you you're into what you're into, but when you like spend 4k on a custom-made furry suit, I think that's when I draw the line of what's okay and what's not okay. But obviously, I'm just a guy on the internet, so I can't really can't really tell you it's not okay. Be like, hey, hey, you can. Go to those furry conventions and destroy a hotel. Actually, no, I think that was a sabotage. Look at the size of that boy! Pew, pew, pew. Wow. That thing's intimidating. I always travel with Wiggly Tough. I never leave home without it. Mate, this thing's bigger than, like, probably three times the size, the weight of that girl. She could, Wiggly Tough could turn on her trainer and just kill her. Oh, don't go into the same room, you spoon. How come the doors are single doors, but when you go in, they're size of the double doors? Mysterious questions that have never been answered. I collected these Pokemon from all around the world. Oh, I bet you didn't. I bet they're all Kanto types. <coughs> in before. Nikki! Nick. It's a Pidgey. Wow. 
all around the world. She just went up to Route 24. Wow, girl. That's that's amazing. That's a really strong Pidgey. Why is it level 17? Shouldn't it evolve at that point? I'm going to poison it. I'm sorry. I'm going to murder your Pidgey. Okay, no, I'm not. Because it missed. Wow, that did a lot of damage. <laughs> okay. I apologize for taunting you, my lady. <laughs> oh, no. I actually just said that. And Geodude's dead. Ooh, he's, he's the only one strong against flying types. Oh, he's got so, he's so weak. Oh, actually, he's not weak. His attack is pretty good. It's not great, but it's all right. It's, oh, it's all right. Yeah, show your sting. Wait, he just tried to roast on me. This girl just t posed on me, basically. Oh, that's sad. I am going to roost. Lord, you baited. Oh, go on, hit five times. Go on, son. Oh, that's three. One more. Mm, okay, three. Average. Mirror move. Oh, no. How? The thing doesn't have horns. Amazing. Imagine seeing Mirror move in real life. Obviously, we're going back to this Pokemon in real life thing. It's like I'm the I'm the scaly right now, dude. It's like, if you... There has to be some ruling, like, laws and stuff on certain moves in Pokemon. Like, there must be. Because, I mean, of course, using Meowth's as payday, you know, you're just going to get rich quick. They must have to... They must... They must have to completely disregard the use of coins in that in that realm. In that realm. Yeah, realm. They, they have to. Cause other, oh, it's a female Pikachu. Oh, by the way, if you, if you didn't know, the indent in the tail means it's a female Pikachu. So yeah, I mean, obviously, they're probably going to have to use paper money, if at all. Maybe they just use electronic money. T-Wave. Oh, shit. That hit me as well! That's like a... Oh, I'm getting beat. I'm not getting beat. But I ain't losing. Yeah, of course. They probably have paper money or pure electronics because of the Meowth exploit. Either that or there's uh, like certain bands of... <laughs> of like having Pokemon. Imagine that! Imagine wild Pokemon and being like, Oh, no, you can't catch these. They're endangered. Imagine endangered Pokemon. Imagine there being a finite supply of Pokemon. That just sounds mental, doesn't it? But it's almost impossible because there'll be like thousands of IV, <laughs> IV people trying to get the best IVs for their Pokemon. Oh, that's oh. Yeah, there would be, there would never be a shortage of Pokemon apart from legendaries. But you know, you know the people with the legendaries are going to be the richest families in the Pokemon world because there's only one assuming there's only one legendary people are gonna have to pass that down their family for generations <clears throat> either that or there's gonna be a full-out war with rich families trying to get as many legendaries as they can so they can take over the world mate this is starting to sound like something cool <laughs> I think I've just come up with a Pokemon movie. By the way, don't take this as copyrighted of S guys. No, it's not even S guys. Oh man, I am. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Copyright of Matt. <laughs> that sounds mental though. Um, I'm complimenting myself. Like that's kind of sad. But there we go. What can you do? This battle is taking like years. Oh, oh double team, paralyzing. Oh, this thing's never going to get hit. Oh my god, I'm actually getting styled on by the bot. <clears throat> this is actually... I'm actually just sad. Go on, Charmeleon. But you know that's going to happen. Rare Pokemon sighting. Mm, helicopters. Air jets come speeding out of a mansion. They're going to go try and catch that Lugia. And they're going to battle each other for it. And then that's just going to lead to a Pokemon war. Oh, mate. That's like the law of Lieutenant Surge, isn't it? Saying that there's a, there was a Pokemon war back in the day. Mate, imagine if we got a game like that. I mean, Game Freak say, have said that they're, they're going to surprise people this year. And I mean, hey. If you're going to surprise us, bring out a Pokemon war, dude. 
Actually, no, that just make everyone sad. I can't hit this Pikachu. This is annoying. And he's paralyzing my whole team and double kicking them. She, sorry. Gender. Got my genders. Oh my god! This thing is actually going to take up like five minutes of an episode. I am actually sad. Oh my word. Please, Charmeleon. I beg you. You're dead to me. You're dead to me. Spiro, he's not going to use any thunder move, is he? Ooh, why? Um, I don't have a 100% hitting move, I don't think. Oh, don't kill me, please. Ooh, that was close. Alright, if he uses that again, I'm dead. So there's always a chance. Please say I have 100%. 100 accuracy, 85, 85, 100. Ooh, 100% accuracy. Is that 100% or just... Oh my god, how many times can you use this? This is ridiculous. Nikki is actually going to whoop my team using this stupid strat. It's not 100% accuracy, it's just the base accuracy. Ooh, she's done it! Oh no. Oh no. Magikarp. Please. Please, please, please. I beg of you. Please do something. Just, you... It's not even going to do any damage. Oh, it misses my... <laughs> he waved me. I'm actually going to get knocked out by this bloody trainer. Oh, my God. Please. This is so embarrassing to watch. He double kicked. Just kick. Four damage. Wow. <laughs> I did five that time. Oh god. What? How are you meant to beat this strat? What is a 100% hitting move right now? This battle has gone on for way too long. This bot, this bot is actually laughing at me internally. Oh! Magikarp. That wasn't enough damage. And I'm, I'm, I'm glad you hit him. Though however many Pikachus you might see. Oh, you can't move. You hit him for half his health. Of his current health. So come on, you beautiful fish. If you do this, I'll never... Oh! I didn't say anything, so I'm not going to stand by what I said. Thank God for Magikarp, the hero. Oh, this episode... You're a bitch. Fuck you. You didn't go around the world for those. You are You went outside and... Oh, mate. Alright, okay. That's... Oh, fuck! I didn't think you were a trainer! I love Pokemon, do you? No, I'm not a fairy. Leave me alone. Tyler? Oh, fucking Tyler won. A Mankey? Nah, that's alright. Though every Pokemon's paralyzed on, and under, like, 20 health. Oh, this is... Oh, he's gonna... What's good against a fighting type? Shall I risk it? No, let's just fighting type. Hey, let's just let's just slap him. Hey, get that done. Alright, that's come off for saying that. Mate, this manky is taller than well, the tail is taller than the kid. Come on. Hey Ooh, three, six. Oh fucking Bivisaur! Clutch your boy! Oh no. Okay. Oh, <laughs> this is Oh, this is so bad. Right, does Beedrill have a wind type move? He has Peck. Oh, thank God Beedrill has Peck. He is hoping that this stupid bee, Wasp, can poke this stupid monkey in the bloody nose. Don't kill me. Oh, that did four. Oh, that did four as well. Oh, three times. Alright, just peck this monkey in the eye and be done with it. Who cares if you're paralyzed? It's fine. More Fury Swipes? <laughs> That's cool. This whole family in this cabin are just scum. Come on. There it is. The Beedrill. Absolute monster. Let's go. And he leveled up for it. You're welcome, son. Oh, man. What an embarrassing episode. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wow, you're great. Fuck you. I don't even care that you're complimenting me. Go away. So thank you guys for watching once again. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We talked about more stupid stuff. And we didn't get very far in the boat. But thank you guys for watching once again. And I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out.